In February 2017, Epic Games released Paragon, and during the time of development, staff remarked that they were given the opportunity to make anything in terms of a game, and that they had a lot of creative control with the project and what would ultimately become Paragon. Characters in the game had powers and abilities similar to that of the characters from Overwatch released in 2016, where depending on the situation or game that players found themselves in, could use characters that had various powers and abilities as mentioned. The map layout was based on the concept of three lanes featured in a map. Each of these lanes were protected by defensive towers. These towers would attack any incoming enemies that stood within its range automatically. Minor minions would automatically spawn and proceed through a path and would attempt to destroy these towers and even further an inhibitor. Destroying all of these will cause even more minions to spawn and proceed in the lane that was destroyed, and eventually attack the enemy core located on the exact opposite side of the map from the opposing team. The march had players choosing a hero, as mentioned in a similar concept to Overwatch, but if a player did not select a hero during the time allowed for selection, then a hero would be automatically chosen for the player. Characters would gain experience due to the defeat of other players or killing minion characters, or even destroying a tower. A card-based system had abilities to be either increased or minorly changed for the march. Criticisms for the game were that when a player selected a character, they couldn't be picked by anyone else on the team. It was often the case when a new character was introduced and players would have rushed to pick the new character as soon as selection was possible prior to the match being played, so certain characters were not selectable at times. Further problems were that the environment or map for each stage wasn't as interactive as some gamers had imagined or expected. Characters were unable to hang on to ledges, for example, or jump from one location to another clearly in some situations, whilst the character models couldn't do much more than basic functions. If a player was accidentally disconnected from a match, or decided to abandon the match within game, the remaining players were almost always left at a disadvantage due to the dynamics of the game. Players whom had abandoned the team were often penalized for joining a new game until the prior one had been completed, with gamers often complaining that the matches were very long, due once again to the dynamics of Paragon as a single march could be easily a half hour or even longer. Despite the fact that prior to release, Epic Games promised regular updates for Paragon in terms of error and bugs, or with quality, this was soon ignored as in late 2017, Fortnite was released. On due to the monumental success that it proved to be for Epic Games, Epic Games reduced development for Paragon and devoted more attention to Fortnite as the limited growth on gameplay for Paragon didn't meet the expectations of Epic Games developers or players. Barely a year after release in January 2018, Epic Games announced that Paragon would be cancelled by April of that year, on providing refunds to all players that had purchased content for the game through circumstances at the time. As following the official cancellation date, on the 19th of March 2018, Epic Games announced that it would release all assets of the game for free through the Unreal Engine Marketplace. The content included 20 characters, related visual skins for their appearances, animations for the characters, in-game dialogue, and more than 1,500 environmental components and details. All of this amounted to roughly 17 million US dollars, but it was not considered bad for Epic Games at all considering how much money Fortnite had made for the company. Sometimes a character can be forgotten because the ideas for these characters were promising, but the implementation ended up being lacking. 